I had a dream to start a TV show to acknowledge Arab women because I don't feel that they're being acknowledged to the fullness of who they are, to show the possibilities of change from within Arab culture and traditions, and to promote building small bridges of dialogue between and amongst Arab women from different countries. work I was knocking one woman's door at a time to convince her that she can have a better life and on TV I can reach millions of people much faster. The people I admire the most in my life are people who found their voice and spoke it. You can buy the whole outfits of the world or put layers of makeup on you. You won't be as beautiful until you find your voice and speak it. My first lesson in my humanitarian work is I went first time to Sarajevo in the midst of a besieged city. This is in 1993. And that was tough years, worse than the Syrian war right now. You know, and I went and I risked my life and I go and I go to the women and I was like, okay, what should I bring you next time I come here? And they say, lipstick. I was like, excuse me? You want lipstick? No, no, you want vitamins. You want hygiene items. Come on, you want pens, pencils to write. And they're like, no, we really want lipstick. And they said, because it's the smallest thing that I can put on on a daily basis and I feel beautiful. I want that sniper, before he shoots me, to know he is shooting a beautiful woman. The woman in Congo, one of the worst places on earth, taught me how to dance fiercely. It was in Rwanda where there were half a million women raped in a hundred days. They are the ones who taught me how to sing. It was in Afghanistan. They really taught me how to pay attention to my um, eyebrows. I have a big nose and my mom wanted me to have an operation when I was a teenager and I refused to do anything to my face or body. Refuse. Nothing. This is who I am. To change what God has given me is to be ungrateful to God. You know, every day when I shower, I go through every inch of my body and I go through it and I just thank God. I just thank God for my smallest toes and my biggest toes and my legs and my thighs and my waist and my, and my ears and everything because I'm so grateful that I have all of this. All of this is not perfect. All of it is not always beautiful. All of it is imperfect, you know? But if any of it goes, then I lose who I am. I grew up with my mom telling me, don't think God is only up. God is everywhere. God, in every tree and in every flower and every in the air and in the dust and God is everywhere and that's how I learned Islam God is love you know uh, God is mercy God is kindness God in Islam is all the emotions which I love God is anger and mercy kindness and not, you know, all of it which I think God is life that you know but don't you ever in my opinion dare to kill or to do harm in the name of God. That is not God for me.